knew. Over 20 years ago, he knew. Dave McGinnis was the head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. His star receiver was Rob Moore. Moore was in the midst of a 12-year career where he caught over 600 passes and was a pro bowler. And yet Dave McGinnis knew. Coach Mack knew that if Rob Moore wanted to coach after his playing career ended, he would be just as successful. Speed out the break. If he shows up that early, you say, yeah, you, I think you gotta take that. Hey, fellas, we gotta go, man. This, this right here, this is, this is this bad right here. This bad ball. He was one of the most highly competitive guys I've ever coached. And I've been around a lot of highly competitive guys in my 31 years of coaching. But he did it with such grace. You know how some guys are able to compete with intensity, but they got a real kind of aura to them about just being smooth and, and, and graceful with what they do. That was Rob Moore. No doubt in my mind, he was going to be an excellent coach if that's what he chose to do. This was a guy that coaches could implicitly trust. And this was a guy, more importantly, that the locker room trusted. Rob Moore started as a high school coach, then became a junior college coach, and then moved on to college coaching before advancing to the NFL. He paid his dues and he stayed in the National Football League because he can connect with a receiver who's headed to the Hall of Fame, a wideout who's desperately trying to make a roster, and every wide receiver in between. Either go down the middle of them if you don't want to be outside, but be somewhere on them, on his frame. Got what I'm saying? He commands instant respect. And you can just tell, just with what's going on with this receiver group, let's take this year. He's got some very different guys as far as it, even their talent levels from top to bottom, and especially what he's gone through this year, you know, having to, to, to reintroduce and to teach new people and bring them in. But he's always able to connect with those guys, and I think that's really, really important. That's what you look for as a head coach, is someone that can connect with their players and still at the same time be able to make the distinction between player and coach. He's a very insightful human being. He gets it. He is one of those guys that was supremely blessed athletically, but he doesn't expect everybody to be that supremely blessed athletically. But what he does expect and can tell them is how to hone their craft and how to increase their value by work. If you watch a Titans practice, you see all of the wide receivers gathered around Rob Moore during periods where they're off. The conversations focus on all aspects of the job, and every receiver gets something out of these sessions. But Rob Moore, he gets a lot back. There's implicit trust between player and coach, and they know that what he is telling them on a daily basis is going to help them. He, in turn, wants feedback from them. That's why you see those constant conversations. Anytime you see coaches that are in constant conversation with their players, it's because there's feedback going back and forth. And it can't only be, you listen, I talk as a coach. It has to be, let me hear what you have to say, and then let me help you. And then if, if we both agree, then we'll go on this path. If not, let's find out why we don't agree and we'll work something out. But trust is the word. That's what, that's what you know. When you're seeing that on a practice field, what you're looking at is implicit trust between player and coach. Just like I had Ron Rivera, just like I had Mike Singletary, you knew that if they eventually were going to hang up the pads, that if they wanted to get into coaching, they could add a lot to it. I knew that watching Rob Moore immediately when I was with him. You gotta run, you gotta close them, and then boom, and then you go. So you got caught in between like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Do it with speed. <laughs>